This is called snap mounts. And I thought that this was the coolest thing I had ever seen. And I'll show you why. Third flats road, twist and shout. Uh, here's the beauty of the magnet. B-roll. Oh yeah, that's that nice. magnet mount, have you seen those? No. It's pretty sweet looking. Supposedly very fancy. Stop right there. What we're talking about is this little thing right here. This is called snap mounts. And I thought that this was the coolest thing I had ever seen. And I'll show you why. It's a super strong magnet. They tested it on race cars, uh, not necessarily race cars, but high performance cars at high speeds and it, it stays on, which it does. The, the magnet itself is, is great. Um, the way this works is for mountain biking is this mounts to your bike and your camera mounts to this and the magnet sticks together. What I was really excited about about this was, you know, I have my camera mounted on my chest pad tube and I just take it off and then I had a handheld because normally I carry two cameras. I have my POV and I have a handheld in um, a, a, a fanny pack so I can get, you know, point it at someone who's talking, set it up on the trail for a ride bike shot, turn it around and talk to the camera. And this was gonna eliminate my need to carry another camera. The bad part about this and why it does not work for mountain biking is this connection is plastic and the camera just vibrates like crazy. Chunky noodle. Even with the stabilization of the of the GoPro and even more improved stabilization with the Hero 9, which I'm using now, it's still is super shaky. All the POV footage on my trip is a lot of it is unusable because it's so shaky with this. And the camera would also eventually droop down and end up pointing down. I see why this is called quad rocker. I had to zip tie it in place, which is totally annoying. I shouldn't have to zip tie my camera. I'm sorry, snap mounts, really cool idea, but for mountain biking, there's just too much vibration. It does not work until you can figure out a way to make the camera more secure um, and not vibrate as much. It's not the magnets, the magnets are great. It's the connection with the camera that is the thing. See how strong this is? I can't even get it apart. Oh my God. If you're using snap mounts for something other than mountain biking, it's great. So here's the magnet on a handle. Boom. I pull the, the camera off my chest. Boom. And now I've got it on a handheld. Super easy. There's all, a really cool idea as well is this thing. You're supposed to you know, I don't have it sized right now, but you're supposed to carry this under your shirt. Here, I'll just pull it up so I don't have to size it right now. Where is it? Oh my God, oh, here it is. So say this is your camera on here, and then you take it off, whatever it's mounted to, and then boom, now it's, now it's connected there and you can walk around hands-free. That's pretty cool idea. But in practical application on mountain biking, it just doesn't work. If you got value from this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I also have a mountain biking channel. I document my ride experiences. They're super fun. I use music. I'm funny, or at least I think I'm funny. So definitely check those out. Thanks for stopping by. Oh shit, camera's off. <laughs> Camera fell off. Oh. <sighs> There we go, we're going.
you have it tethered on in case it falls off? Um, I probably should. That's a good idea. Hey Siri, remind me to tether my camera. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.